What is up, everybody? Happy Wednesday afternoon from sunny Florida here on the eastern coast of the United States of America. It is 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm Scott Melker, also known as the Wolf of All Streets. And before we get started, you know what you need to do. You need to subscribe to the channel, which I'm assuming all of you are, and then uh, take a pen and click it just so the tip just touches the like button a little bit, right? Over and over again, just into the like button. Keep twisting that Right there. Hope you guys have been having a good day. I bet you probably missed me in the last, oh, I don't know, three hours since you saw me last. We got Des Moines in the house. I will not ask for your forgiveness because you do not deserve it. Okay, monkey doll queen. That's cool. Good evening, Wolfpack. What's up, Wolfpack? From Wolfpack from Belgium with love. We got the, uh, I see, we got the UK in the house here. What else we got? What else we got? Uh, I was a multi-billionaire yesterday. Diamond hands didn't sell. You got to hold through that. Got to hold through that even when it's just the uh, portfolio on uh, coin market cap being listed wrong. Got to hold through that. Yeah, Des Moines in the house. Guys, 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 before we get started, you know what we got to do. First, we got to tell you about my friends at DYDX. We got to go this way, right? Nope, this way. Look. DYDX is the largest decentralized exchange in crypto. You guys know about that, right? Users can now trade with zero gas costs, cross-margining, up to 70, 25x leverage, and the ability to earn DYDX not available to U.S. users. So listen, I know I got feedback from a lot of you guys last week that you had signed up. If any of you are over in the comments, tell me, how has it been trading on DYDX? For, you, for those of you guys who don't know, relatively new exchange, completely decentralized, and on certain days, doing more volume than the biggest centralized exchanges in the world. Like, there's days where they just crush Coinbase. Coinbase. Coinbase, which has, like, more users than Schwab and TD Ameritrade combined, getting crushed in volume by DYDX. By DYDX, right? I mean, they offer, I think, something like 28 pairs up to 25x leverage. And you can go trade there in a decentralized exchange but have an order book just like a centralized exchange, which is like the perfect marriage, the perfect marriage, right? Because you get all the advantages of a DEX, but you can actually set limit orders and you don't just have to market buy like you do on Uniswap and these others. So <clears throat> let's see uh, what you guys have. Any, I'm, I'm looking over here, see who's tested out. Don't see any yet, but you guys, I'm going to ask you a favor, a favor. Click on the link right down below and just check it out. It's a favor to me. It's a favor to me. You'll make me look great. They're amazing. Everybody wins. Click on the link down below. Give it a read. Check it out. Yeah. Going to give it a try. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Like that smash button, guys. Like that smash button. So listen, I'm just going to keep this strolling across the bottom down here so that you guys can be mesmerized and hypnotized by the amazingness that is DYDX. I'm also going to put their logo. I can't. The mirror thing, man. Right there. See, it's going to be right there the whole time. Wolf of all streets plus DYDX. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Checking that out. Much appreciated. So what are we doing today? Chartapalooza every single Wednesday. Requests for charts from paid subscribers to the Wolf Den newsletter. Every Wednesday morning, I send out a Google form in the newsletter around 6.30, 7 o'clock a.m. They fill it out. My assistant chooses his favorite 25, 30, and the ones that uh, you guys want. And then I look at them. Charting, slave. Oh, yeah, the scroller calms the ADHD, folks. Just give you something to focus on, right? Just mm, mm. keep on reading. Keep on reading. Yeah. If you, if you do me a favor, I will remember it. I will remember it, Marco. I guess I owe you one, huh? All right, let's dig in. First, we're going to take a very quick look at the Bitcoins, Right? Dumped right down to the EQ of this trading range, right? We were getting all uh, panicky and right back up. This is just chop, guys. Sideways chop. We're not even going to bother with Bitcoin right now, right? What's the point? What's the point? Chop, chop, chop a Rooney. First request, AVAX Bitcoin. I looked at that this morning, guys, and it was in the newsletter this morning. This is the only altcoin I've posted in like a week and a half, probably. It was right here, I think, 0 0.1877.00, 18772. 
Now it's up a good 5 6% even from there. This is on the Bitcoin pair. Like I said, very clean breakout, very clean flip of this uh, line at 17999 uh, from resistance to support. This looks absolutely great for a move up to point oh oh two five five oh what? There you go. There you go. He did not choose one inch today. I don't think we have no one inch. No one inch today. I know you guys are very disappointed. Uh, but one inch has been added to Binance US. I got that announcement. It was like, Binance US has added one inch. That's literally what it said, the announcement. Binance US has added one inch. Must have gotten like a Swedish pump or something or taken one of those pills that's always advertised on the internets. You know what I mean? All right, so AVAX looking great. This is Atlas, Star Atlas, one of my favorites, guys. I know every time like I'm on the news or something, they're like, what metaverse project do you like? I'm like, Star Atlas, that shit looks like Avatar, bro. Have you guys even have you guys even like seen their trailer? I had uh, Wagner, you know, Michael Wagner, the uh, CEO. I actually hung out with him in Miami. The night that uh, Bitcoin died, uh, like 10 days ago, I was with him at a table at a club in Miami. Um. Yeah, it looks amazing. It looks, it looks so cool. So anyways, let's dig in uh, right here. So I think that, you know, of all the metaverse projects, this one, I'm extremely bullish off. Very long term. I have a huge bag of this and Polis, and I, I ain't selling, like, net, like not selling. Years. Years. Yeah, there's worse things than adding one inch. That's correct, correct Candy. Unless that's your full, like, extension. As you go from, like, one to two, and you're like, Atlas USD. So listen, this is what we were looking for, and it did not happen. This is why you wait for confirmations on trades. It's so easy. So easy, right? It's not that easy. But look, you had this resistance right here. This was a swing high. You needed a close above. This never triggered. No trigger, no trade. And look at that. One, two, three, four, five candles right there re rejected right at 19.8. Right, 0.198 cents. And look at how many uh, you get, 0.198478.25 cents. Yeah. Uh, Matthew would like you to know that if he could add one, and she would. Very few people would say that's not true. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, but right now, looking uh, like it got rejected here. In fact, now I'm going to go ahead and delete this line, which just sucks, right? Because that looked like a clean breakout, looked like it was heading up. But we, we, we we're honest here. Take an honest appraisal, look at the charts. Not right. Not that much to see at the moment. I think. I think we really want to get back above this line, thirteen and a half cents, something like that. Would be really sweet. But what I do like here is that we have a very. Let's look at the four hour actually. Oh, that, there's your story. Look at the uh, look at fifty MA there. So we could do this as your big one. I think you got something like this going on here, right? And so, like, I would say this is your line for starting to think about a reversal if you're trying to trade it back up. Get above the 50 MA, but look, one, two, three. I think that's a pretty clean line right there. Dude, this is interesting. Where it bottomed, you know, this was the big dump. Uh, and then look at these. This held really, really well as support with multiple bullish SFPs before that move up and then rejected at the 50 MA. Yeah, I think if we get above this line, just alarm it. Put an alarm on it. Then we can start uh, really talking about a reversal here. But all altcoins are going to kind of do the same thing until uh, Bitcoin makes it. Good to buy Atlas, Mr. 101, Mr. 101. Listen, I would never give you financial advice. All I can tell you is what I do, right? What I do. I think it's cheap. It was just, you know, it was, it was double. I think it's cheap, and I'm going to hold it for a very long time. So the price you buy it at if you're an investor and you're, does, does not really matter that. Right. All right. I like that. Startless. Actually, uh, you know, that that looks bottomy. If you start losing 11 cents there, then we'll start talking about more downside for now. That does not look like uh, inevitable in any way, shape or form. BNB. I like BNB USDT. I thought about putting this in the newsletter the last two days and I just haven't because I just don't like where uh, where um, alts have been in general. I just don't like the market. But look, like this was a swing, major swing high here after this breakout before heading back down to the EQ. And this is holding like a champ as support. Look at that. Three wicks below, all three of these candles so far holding right at that line. That looks bottomed out for a move up to 691. I just can't get there right now with Bitcoin. But like I, I would actually say if I was going to buy something, I'd be looking for this, you know, and your invalidation is really clear. Like come down here, you just exit.
So the, the loss would be very small if you took a position on BNB here. That's what you kind of like, right? What you kind of like. Uh, yeah, Adam, you can buy it on FTX. Uh, you can buy it on FTX, but it's also like, obviously, it's a Solana-based coin, so you can buy it on Radium or any of the, you know, Solana uh, AMMs. So I kind of like BNB here. And as long as it holds 518, you know, maybe your invalidation is under this wick, 492, something like that, right? You kind of have a big area right here of theoretical support as well. But uh, yeah, I mean, if you close below that line, you could just say, hey, I'm out. It was a tiny loss, whatever. If it closes below maybe like this wick or this wick, depending on how you approach your uh, stop losses. Otherwise, you know, we can just do the descending line thing. Okay, cool. Give you a reason. But this looks really good holding this support if it continues to for a move to the top. And that's the all-time high. Not that low under the all-time high relative for BNB. So looking pretty decent. Uh, please, I need you to be my mentor and put me into the Bitcoin. Uh, I mean, I'm doing my mentoring right now, but I, I don't know how to, you know, I, I can't put you into the Bitcoin. You got to put yourself into the Bitcoin. Got to put yourself into the Bitcoin, buddy. Cake, this is BUSD because it's just the chart I've had. Nothing's changed on this since we looked at it last week, right? In a week, one, two, I mean, yeah, just holding the support area, which I said we want to do. Anything above $10.86 looks good here right? Lose this area. I think you're coming all the way back down to like six bucks. So, you know, you want to hold 928 to 1086 or so, but really, man, I think you got to break this line. You know, this line is the key. So kind of hard to jump in. If you didn't jump in at 1085 for this quick, like 20% move, you know, anywhere in here, I don't see how you jump in right now. Got to get above this blue line. That's really my opinion, but you know, you can catch the knife down here if you like. I'm put you guys in the Bitcoin, bro. Come at me, bro. I'll put you in the Bitcoin. Don't even mess with me. I'll put you right in it. Put you right in it. Uh, all right. C-R-O. It went down, didn't it? I don't even think this is matters anymore. You got canceled. Let's do the, one of these. Now, listen, objectively, you would have put it here, but I'm going to give it the more conservative... Got a death cross here. Uh, let's look at the daily actually on this. Oh, better story. Better story. CRO is right at the 50 MA here on the daily for those who do MAs and, and, and things. That blue line, that's the 50 MA right there. Testing it for the first time since, uh, man, it hasn't been below it for, for a long extended period of time, but really the first time on this major parabolic run, right? And so I, I wouldn't say this is a bull flag. You have a descending wedge, broadening, descending, broadening wedge off these highs right up here. So a break of this blue line should send you back to the highs. Otherwise, wait, because remember, if you come down and touch the support on this wedge, it can be way down, bro, way, way, way down. You mess with me, girl. I will put you in the Bitcoin, put you right in it. Maybe the golems can put them in the bitcoins. We wants to put some in. We needs to. Yeah. How much will the Fed announcement too factor into pricing or has it been priced in? I can't imagine. I mean, listen, we'll get some volatility. I can't imagine it's not priced in though. Bro, you need some class. I need some sleep. I feel spring chicken. This is just my face. Let me show you. Dad's got them. I got them. My kids got them. That's genetics. That's just genetics. I get the thing on my face and the stuff on my place with my face. Here we go. I got bags under my eyes. Wife likes them. My wife, my wife, she likes the bags under the eyes. She needs it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Spot fucking on. Same with Rick Astley. Yeah, I do pretty like I never I've never like practiced impressions. I just like pop it out. Like one does. I was like, I can do golem. I was like, never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna turn around and hurt you. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Sly, just just slay hood rats with the smile. That's my smile. Slays hood rats. Just slays them. 
Anyways, CRO, wait till it breaks that line. That's your target. Otherwise, lower, pretty good support here at the 50 MA. Have fun staying informed. CRV, what are we doing here? Nothing. Gerd, what a rejection. I bet there's a bear div there. I bet there's a bear div right there. Am I right? Am I right? No, there's not. I'm wrong. There's not. Not some hidden bullish divergence forming. You're seeing these hidden bull divs on a lot of charts, actually. But man, yeah, I want to be back above that line. That was a savage rejection. Sad. But you do have low, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low. Right? So this is going to make some sort of channel. Let's see. Might not be perfect. Oops. Wrong. Watch. We'll fix it. Don't worry. Something like that. Not exactly, but it gives you the idea, right? Never came down. So maybe if you do get a support bounce off that, you you, you buy it. Because then you really have a perfect channel. <laughs> Got crypto bags and eye bags. Never gonna love you up. I can't do that. Gollum singing Rick Ass. That's just too, too. I'd be too powerful if I could do that. I'd be too powerful if I could do that. Yeah, bro. She needs it. She needs it. She needs it. Uh, but something like this, right? Higher highs, higher lows. I think you just got to get back above this line now that you lost it. Maybe even this one, but. Mm. And so the macro, I think those lines are correct here on CRV. And of course we got, if you got, if it were coming way, way down, you would have like, you know, here and obviously here, right? So this is a bullish structure coming out of this. You just want to get back above that line. Uh, oh, you're welcome. Show me another Rick Astley song. I'll sing it to you. Show me one. Rick Astley had a couple more hits. Had a couple more hits. Sup, New Zealand. Sup. I mean, guys, guys, your face doesn't have to be perfect to score an amazing wife. You just have to be awesome at, at life and things. It's all about your swagger. It's all about your swagger. Never heard a girl be like, well, you got really weird eye bags, bro. Like, I don't know if I can date you. Never happened. Not once in my whole life. The only time I've ever heard about my eye bags is since I started streaming, streaming on YouTube, actually. Been a non-issue otherwise. Never heard about them. I think they're pretty awesome. If I didn't have them, I wouldn't be me. I'd be some other dude with a less awesome life, probably. I don't know, man. This chart, this is DFI USDT. This still looks really good, but you got to get back above. I don't know. I mean, this is like a big ass rangy Rangerford. Right, let's just clean this up. Watch. Should you like a whistle? It's not rude. He just thinks that no, people literally just think I'm really tired. It's not rude. It's fine. I don't need to blur your camera, bro. I've got the most, now I've got the most HD camera right in my face with no filter. I roll with my natural face. My face is my face. Been on TV and they're like, we need to do some uh, makeup to your thing. I'm like, you didn't make up me, bro. I'm, I'm on all my messed up face stuff. Uh, you do not just have to be rich. I was broke. That This is probably the biggest fallacy in my life that uh, infuriates Emmy probably more than anything. Is when anyone on Twitter is like, oh, his wife's hot. Uh, it's just because he's got money. When Emmy and I met, I was broker than shit. When Emmy and I got married, I was broker than shit. For the first years we were married, we were broker than shit. So, sorry. Sorry, you can't credit my newly found crypto wealth with securing my wife. Have fun staying wrong. Yeah. It's just not the way it is. It's not that it's just not a true thing, not a true thing. But I was really amazing at DJing and at having fun in life. This is what I'm seeing is DFI. I would give it a shot above this range here. Point four point seven five. Four point seven five. Four point seven five. 
First time she ever met me, I was DJing like this epic party at this club called Hero in New York City. And that didn't hurt, I would imagine. That didn't hurt. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So uh, if anything, Emmy was killing it for years. Yeah, we were having we were having a lot of fun staying poor. That's accurate. Accurate. We weren't poor, but you know, it was a struggle. She started her own business. I supported her through that. She was she was making the bread for a long time there in the dips and valleys of my DJ career. It was crazy life. Yeah, DFI got to get back above the range. That, that's it. Engine, look how many of these made new all-time highs and then got rejected. Terrible. Terrible. Confidence can help you overcome literally any like particular like thing that you believe is holding you back just fake it till you make it with the confidence too just have swagger man only got one eye dope patch and some swagger one inch I, that that that's a i don't know i don't know you know whatever uh i have not done this in a long time but i use ableton it's back there there's an ableton push right there i don't know if you can see it but uh yeah but i don't very really do it yeah but I don't know which thing I said that's deep, but everybody knows that attitude is the thing that matters the most. If you have self-confidence and don't let the little things that bother you about yourself become big things that bother other people about you, they're not even going to notice it unless you make a big deal out of it. This looks like B&B &B right here, engine. Not as good, but like right here on a major support with three little wicks. I like this a lot if you break the blue line. To head back up to like four bucks. Pretty easy. You mean fruity loops, not fruit loops, but I don't use fruity loops. Uh if you have swagger but also own one inch, then you gotta you gotta make it work, man. Yeah. Gotta make it work. Make it work. Uh but guys, nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. I got a I got a wife with like spastic I had like spastic ADHD basically you know like it's, it's a lot to keep up with me got a lot of energy I don't really shut up so often and now she's got three of us like my kids are like that too I'm sorry um, but yeah man you know be you I mean some of the worst people that have ever existed on the planet have found people to love them I'm sure you can do it. Uh, somewhere like here. This uh, this is Filecoin. I don't know, man. This is just a tr tragedy. I don't see any reason to buy this. This looks like a bear pennant right now. So it's not even like I don't even call that support. But this is a little. Let's go into the four hour. I mean, that's not bullish consolidation. Leveled down a little bit here. I don't know, man. I don't see any reason to be looking at this here. Literally, like, wouldn't even touch it till it breaks way back up. Way back up. Um, you make beats? Yeah, I did it for 20 years professionally for a living. Um, for a living. That's what I did. I was DJ. I was sharing a bunch of DJ photos today on my Twitter page. Some good ones. Let's see what I got. I was just, I don't know, I was in a mood. Got this one right here. That's me and Black Thought from The Roots. Male modeling audition. I hit him with Blue Steel. Here's uh, me when Erica Badu, I was DJing a thing for her, and she was like, I want to DJ. And so I was just in the back, like, drinking a fresco. She took over on my turntables. I got all kinds of DJ stuff, guys. Yeah, I DJed. I was DJing before I got into crypto, 2015, 16. I was playing, like, straight-up stadiums in South America. I was uh, touring with uh, Enrique Iglesias as his opening act. Big, pretty big, pretty big stuff. Pretty big stuff. <laughs> oh, Bitcoin's bouncing all over the damn place. Okay, where are we on? We did Filecoin trash. Forget it. Forget about it for now. It's, uh, people don't even know that I was a DJ here, most people, which is kind of funny, which is kind of funny. Yeah, I, I used to DJ for Raekwon from uh, Wu-Tang, toured all over the world. Toured all over the world. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Had a fun life. Uh, yeah, so somebody said, enjoy the silence. 
Uh, I did a remix of Enjoy the Silence once upon a time. Enjoy the silence. Words are very unnecessary. They can only do harm. FTM, dude, what a broken trend. Looks bad. Low, haha, lower. I mean, this is just breaking down. I think you could take a shot in the 50 MA screaming down. I don't know. Maybe if you break that line, maybe if you come back down to 96 cents. That was the trade. We had that, but it was to here. Flip this. Once you lost a buck 94, this looks like it just really wants 95 cents. I can't see a reason to jump in that right now. Yeah, kids age people. Have you seen how much gray hair I have now? All since I had kids. I did put them in the Bitcoins. Put them in the Bitcoins. Nice. Send me some beats, bro. Send me some beats. <clears throat> kids definitely age people. Whoever said that, you never truer thing ever was said. Yeah. Nope. Dumb lines that are dead and broken. Words are very unnecessary. They can only do harm. One of the best songs of all time, wouldn't you guys say? Uh, I'll play you guys my remix maybe at the end if I can find it. Never put it out. I like randomly dropped it on YouTube a couple months ago. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, I don't see anything here, man. Again, these are breaking support, a lot of them, and getting rejected. So maybe if you're trading convincingly back above here, GRT. This is GRT USDT. There you go. Here's your re the recent downtrend is this. So if you break that, holler at me. Hather, hey, Thor. Hey, Thor. Hey, Thor. Hather. Hey, hey, Thor. Hey. That was a nice move. We can get rid of these now. All this crap. Clean it up. Let's clean it up. Look, when you make lines, you start on the right and you move to the left, right? So I'm just going to start over here. Like, yeah, this is obvious, right? If you start here, you'll see that it pulls back to here, right? That's a key level. So let's draw that level. Oh, now, where did this bounce? Right here? Eh, I don't like it. You know, this looks like it could be a level. Don't love it. This looks like it could be a level. That I like. Because of that. That. And that. Two rejections on that breakdown. There's your level. Get above $1.32 and maybe above the 50 MA and you can start considering this. Otherwise, this looks like a head and shoulders, right? I mean, this is bad. And this looks like a bear flag. Wouldn't touch these right now. Most of these. uh uh uh, uh. Uh, the parallel channel of Bitcoins in 2017. I posted it recently, uh, the big monthly channel. It's not parallel, the uh, sending channel. Uh, we're testing the, the EQ again right now. This chart, right on the EQ. Assuming that holds the support at the end of the month, we continue to moon. KDA, there it is. Nothing has changed. One, two, three, four touches on this line. That's your line. I've already got an alarm on it. That's it. Got to break that line and then you can head up. So easy. Link, BTC, what happened to Link? Man, man, bro, bros. Okay, so you can zoom out this. Okay, that's a weekly line, clearly, the way I've got it drawn. Now, this massive weekly line, that's probably what you need to break to care about this. <clears throat> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm um, looking at... <clears throat> How many rejections make you turn to short bias? Um, I don't think that people should reject people just for being short. That seems mean. Have you been rejected for being short? Uh, no, it's not a certain amount. It's just you don't bother with it until you're above it, right? I know I don't really short. I don't really short. Every once in a while, I hedge just short or something. But uh, you know, yeah, link looks like a, like butts. It looks like buttholes. There's nothing to see here. As long as you're above 0 0.0003456, fine. But like, nah, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not inspiring. You got a lower low, a lower high. You have not put in a lower low yet, though, actually. So not tragic. But like, 
you know, you had this, I remember this, there was this like, I don't remember how I had the channel drawn, but there was this massive weekly support might've even been like here and it lost it. So I don't I don't see any reason to be looking at link right now on the Bitcoin pair for sure. I mean, look at this. This is like 50 MA, 200 MA pointing straight down. You got this line that you've been rejected from. Not saying don't hold it or anything. I'm just saying, I don't know, man. Luna looks the same. Still looks good. This is the only one that I had like posted of late to buy here at 54.95. This looks great. Had a breakout. Basically hit the target of this pennant, which was here. Yeah, right. Got right to it. 79 bucks. Retrace down to 54. Now it should head back up. We'll see. But that looks fine. Luna. Matic. Matic. Has, did not, was not able to get there. But we were looking for a trigger there. That would have been the trigger. Um, I mean, Matic looks fine. It's just making low, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high. Maybe putting in a higher low. And this is holding the 50 and 200 MA. So this, this is the strongest uptrend of any of these alts I've seen, basically. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Looking at what you guys are saying over here. You guys do not, not saying favorable things about Link. <clears throat> yeah, more rejections than prom night, man. That's, that's, that's what it is. Y'all are talking about let's pump. It's going a little bit. I don't know. Matic. I mean, Matic just looks good. It's a buy the dip coin, right? Low, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low. Holding the 50 MA. I still think this is going to 270. Easy. Mina, ZK Snarks, guys. ZK Snarks, the future of crypto. Next wave. Here. Do we like that line? I like the line maybe through here better. Words are very unnecessary. Something like that. Doesn't matter where your line is. Yeah, I think you buy this down at 271 if you continue getting a drop, or you buy it breaking this blue line. Pretty easy. QNT, nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. Let's get rid of this. It doesn't even matter. Yeah, you got to get back above 215.72, I think. You could even say up here. But yeah, I'm looking, you want this, right? And it did pumped up to it today, but you got to break it. This is what you're looking for. So you could trigger here, but then you know you have resistance here. So you really want this break and this retest. And then you want to ride your bike. Wee, I'm skateboarding and I'm awesome. Weird dude, that Melker. Weird dude. Words are very unnecessary. Maybe the people keep saying Bitcoin's pumping. It is. There it goes. A little bit. Yeah, pumping all the way back to, I don't know, the last four-hour candle. Chop, guys. Chop suey. Did the Fed just do a thing? Is that what happened? I bet the Fed said something. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Don't get too ex well, don't get too excited, guys. Who cares, man? At least we got uh, volume bigger than the last down candle. That's good. QNT, dude, get me above this line or this line. Otherwise, yawn. Rune, this looks terrible. Like, But that was a head and shoulders. It's more than played out now. So maybe it doesn't look so terrible now. That's a misnomer. But here you go. Again, breaking support and needs to get back above it. Right? So if you get back above 635, maybe you got a target of 928. That's a pretty good little trade. Pretty, pretty kind of good little, kind of good little trade. And you got something here. No, that's not right. There. Which lines up perfectly with there, right? Pull back to the left. You tend to find those things. <laughs> you can see this whole okay let's do this because i don't want y'all to get caught up in like one little whatever so here let's do this right it's like that right it's easy to like draw a line but look at all that price action that was your resistance on this drop support support Okay, resistance, 
break out, support, support, resistance, resistance, support, 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 this whole area. So you want to get back above that. That's my opinion. And I'm sticking to it. 49,000, guys. 49K all day. There you go. 49K all day. Whatever. Sorry, guys. Can't get, I can't, can't get too excited, maybe. But listen, let's do not forget, I'm telling you, all divs work. All, all divs matter. And there's your daily bull div. Well, it's not loading the RSI for some reason. Cool. Cool RSI, guys. There, now you're going to start looking at some hidden bearish divergence unless this can get back well above 50,000. So, yeah, I just can't get excited yet. Sorry. Can't. We need to get, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Never bad when it moves up, but nothing there. Sand. Nothing's changed. Support is your demand. This is your resistance. I would buy it if you break this line with a target of $8.48. Solana. I had exited, uh, probably buy more. If it gets back above 177, I might consider it again. Should have bought here, but I'm a lazy person who doesn't really care. And I've already got a Solana bag that's whatever I was just adding. Uh, this is still below resistance, so I think 177 is a really key level. So I would want to get above that. It bounced in a predictable place, but this is the trade you're looking for now. Right? Otherwise, if it loses this, you know, if it gets rejected here, you're looking for this kind of thing. Buy down here. This looks pretty good. Thing is, guys, there's just no volume. Like these are dead moves. Uh, yeah, it's a good idea, guys. I'm just gonna stream all the time. I wouldn't call it a bull trap. I just think it's nothing. It's just price action. It's just a little bit of price action, guys. I mean, this is disgusting. Since. December 3rd, we've basically been trading between 46 and up to like 51. It's for 12 days since that dump after it hit 42. You can't mess with this. Don't get excited. Uh, Sovereign BTC. This is one of my favorite uh, coins. I did not, I do not, have not looked at it on the Bitcoin pair. I had to pull this up. I've always looked at the USDT pair. Sovereign, I was an early investor in this, you know, DeFi uh, on Bitcoin, love it. Pump raised $10 million for these guys. I've had a Danyago on my show a couple times. Big fan. I don't know what the hell is happening here. So it's basically broken the chart. But you know, you're looking at something like this. This has no price history also. So very, and I, Ascendex, like that's a thing. I don't know. This is where we can chart it though. So we're going to take a look at it. Something like that. I can't mess with that. I don't know. It's a tough chart because there's no price history. You know, maybe you've got another little resistance right where price is now. There. If you get above 0.0002259 right there, I would say break this blue line, really get above this line, and really get above this line. Hard to draw targets with that spastic wick right there. Really hard. Something like that. I don't know. Really tough chart. Just know that I'm extremely bullish on this long term. They said they'll start tapering in January, and then we'll have to wait till January for them to say they'll start tapering in February. Yeah. When riding a roller coaster, do you put your hands in the air? Of course, because I'm not a wuss. I'm not even a wuss. I, I reach for the, like, I'm like, can I touch the bar going, that I'm going bar 65 mile an hour? Because I want to be the guy that can do it. No, I don't do that. But I do definitely not uh, hold on because that's for wusses. Do you know if there's anything else like Mina or not really? Sure, we'll get there to Zen. Zen is like a cross between Adam and Mina. It's like interoperability with ZK Snarks. Very cool. Uh, let's keep going. Sovereign, love it. Vet, USD. I mean, this is just embarrassing. So guys, we were trading, you know, we had vet trades from nine cents all the way up to doubling, 18. So that was great. But now it's like, who cares, man? Wow, what a... Wait. What a savage retrace. The things that went up the most inevitably come down the most. Yeah, I think you got to get this just lost the support. So I think you got to get right back here. It is breaking it above that. Otherwise, I don't know where that line is. Here's your key levels. 0 0.05, 0 0.08, 0 0.122, 0 0.157, which you know what? I'm now going to move that up to 0.187. I don't even like this one. Ignore that one. There you go. Yeah, 0.125, like that. 
is how I would look at this chart right now. You could draw a line, but you got these wicks, so it's pretty wide. You're not going to like it. You're not going to want to wait to trade it till that happens. I bet, like, now you start looking for bullish divergences on these. I haven't been doing it here. There you go. You've got bullish divergence there on the daily. Problem is, you're going to get hidden bearish divergence if it pushes a little higher, which is, you know, you, then you get that deeper push for another bullish divergence. So this is right at resistance right now. It does have a little bullish divergence. I could see buying it right here, right above 0 0.0816, but I think my gut says one more drop and then a bigger bullish divergence. I don't know. But, you know, if you're an investor, have fun with it. It's great. XRP. XRP. Now I got to find, look, I, I'm going to literally load a sample into this thing just so I can say it now. Here we go. Where's, the, where's my thing? Come on. Oh, man, I thought I did it. One second. Let's see if it does it. Well. Nope. Didn't do it. Just put the name there. Come on, man. You're being weak. It's not letting me. I'm trying to load a new sample. It's just not working. Here we go. This is what XRP people want. Four weeks. 20 papers. That's $2 plus tip. $2 plus tip, bro. $2 plus tip. Plus tip. Plus tip right here. Here we go. I want my $2! Anyone from the 80s knows that. And we're not going to dig into it too deep. If anyone knows that. I want my $2! XRP is actually sitting at a very key, major, major, bigly support here. I'm going to go and look at it on the weekly. Big support. Big support. Right? Three candles in a row on the weekly. XRP, anything above 79 cents looking pretty good. If not, buy it at 59 cents. Pretty simple. 79 cents. Holds it. Should be heading up. I want my $2. Yeah, you know about that. Better off dead. This mountain is pure. Yeah. Pure powder. No street value of this mountain. Snorting booger up there from Revenge of the Nerds. Snorting, uh, snorting snow. Quality. You know what I'm talking about. Is it the K12? He's K12, man. K7, K12? Yeah, better off dead. One of the greatest movies of all time. One of the greatest movies of Cusack, man. Come on. I want my $2. There's ZEC, Zcash. Z, there's the, the basis of ZK Snarks, actually, I believe, came from Zcash. Privacy. Get your privacy on. Here you are, bouncing off the 200 MA. That looks kind of good. Sound good. If this breaks this blue line, you can get into ZEC. That's it. Break the blue line. I'm going to put a little alarm, alarm face on that, a little alarmer. I want, and speaking of ZK Snarks, here's Zen right here. That didn't happen. Let me ignore all that. I want my $2. Just take this fresh on the weekly. Look at a weekly. Ooh, that looks like a BS bullpen, kind of, to be honest. The, you can't use this candle, but I'm just giving you an idea because it's still on it. But yeah, this looks freaking bananas. Not to buy right now. You have to wait till it breaks out. But yeah, I mean, I want my $2. Uh, $182 actually near the top there, but yeah, wherever this breaks out, oh, that was weird. Come on. My buttons aren't working. Buttons not working. Ugh, so annoying. For some reason, my uh, buttons aren't working to copy this over, which I usually can. Clone it. Look, it's not working. Ugh, so annoying. Okay. Whatever. Uh, X drag. Yeah. I'm, do I'm doing that guys. Let me see if I refresh it, if it works. I want my, well, look at what it did. I refreshed it and they're all there. Just stupid. So annoying. That's ridiculous. It did it on the daily and not on the weekly for some reason. It's, oh my God, this thing is tripping, guys. Okay, anyways, it went to a completely different chart. That was the idea. That was the idea. I don't want to save it. Oh yeah, Bitcoin doing a little thing. 
Oh, yeah, that was tripping, y'all. Tripping. I'm not taking requests here, guys. I'm not taking requests. Jerome scratches his ass and everything pumps. What'd Jerome say? Anyone? B A N A N A S. I, I, dude, we got to get you on. I just saw that you DM'd me on Twitter, which is like a nightmare place to contact me, and we'll, we'll get that scheduled. Fed confirms they plan to accelerate tapering through March and expect to raise interest rates three times next year. Have fun taking a mortgage. From where at historically low levels will be slightly above historically low levels. Everybody, time to panic. All right, guys. I'll be back tomorrow morning. And tomorrow morning is going to be my last stream for about a week. I'm taking a week off. I'll still be writing the newsletter, but I'm taking a week off with the family. The week before Christmas, basically. So I won't be around on Friday or most of next week. So you're going to want to come tune in tomorrow morning at, nine, at 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, Scott, so when you say if it gets above, yes, I'm talking about a trade. Investing, you don't even need charts, guys. Don't need charts at all for investing. Don't need charts at all for investing. Uh, guys, do the, I'm going to ask you one more time. Click the link below for DYDX and just check them out. Just check them out. Maybe you'll love it. Maybe you'll love it and it'll change your life. Maybe you'll love it and it will change your life. Guys, I got to go do stuff. I will see you tomorrow in the morning. Every one of you better be there or we're no longer cool and we're not friends and I won't like you anymore. I'm just kidding. Love you guys. See ya. Peace. Let's go.